Los Angeles Times owner fires far left editorial board wants factual and balanced coverage of Trump's presidency. Um, I give credit when credit is due. I give credit when credit is due. The um, L.A. Times decided to finally become a real newspaper, um, a, a little bit more fair and balanced, rather than just being a, um, a talking head, a propaganda piece for the um, Democrat Party. I'm, I'm all for... Um, um, factual news. Wait a minute, I'm not even sharing the screen. I'm sorry, y'all. Let's share this article here. All right, there we go. Y'all see the article here. Um, so we're gonna talk about it, but before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber, and hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon. That's where I talk about things that I can't talk about here. There's also a link to my Instagram and my X account, so follow me there as well. All right, so let's get into this news. Now, this comes from um, the Gateway Pundit from Ben Q. But he reports that the owner of the Los Angeles Times has fired his entire editorial board as he seeks to return the paper to its journalistic roots. Again, I applaud that. I love um, a paper that can... That can um, give you just the information and not their bend on it. But, I mean, that's why we have editorial pieces, editorial sites. I, I like a, a newspaper to be fair and balanced. You know, I don't mind the criticisms or things like that, but at least don't be an outright propaganda, propagandic um, uh, piece. But posting on the X platform, the paper's owner, Patrick Soon Xiong, said he was proud to have posted a letter opposing attacks on white women for voting for Donald Trump and that the paper would be undergoing uh, some major changes moving forward. He said, proud that we posted this letter from one of our readers on X when the president has uh, won the vote of the majority of Americans, then all voices must be heard. Opinions are just that. I will work towards making our paper and media fair and balanced so that all voices are heard and we can respectfully exchange every American's view from left to right to center. Coming soon, a new editorial board. Trust in media is critical for a strong democracy. I agree with everything except for democracy. We're not a democracy. We're um, a constitutional republic. But I agree with the sentiment. There's nothing wrong with having your opinions but don't state your opinions and say that it's actually factual. Um, say that is your opinion and, and then move on from there. And I think it's good that they're going to have everyone, every one voice. You're going to have left, you're going to have right, and you're going to have center. I'm all for that. Um, and there's the, here's the tweet right here. And here's what he said, um, what I just read. But Soon Siong, a billionaire who invented the cancer drug, Abraxane has previously responded to Trump's victory by stating that the American people have spoken and pledging to provide factual and balanced coverage to help heal America's political divide. I love that. Last month, Soon Siong con um, confirmed that the paper would not be endorsing a candidate for this uh, presidential cycle, despite having previously endorsed Biden, Clinton, and Obama. The decision led to a backlash among some of his Democratic readers, many of whom canceled their subscriptions in protest. Soon Xiong um, is not the only media mogul to block an endorsement of Camilla Harris. Amazon founder Jeff Bezos, who owns the Washington Post, similarly blocked the paper's endorsement of the Democratic nominee and has since demanded that they return to original fact-based reporting, and I've done a whole video on that. And after Trump's stunning victory, Bezos enthusiastically congratulated him on, quote, an extraordinary political comeback and decisive victory before wishing him, quote, all success in leading and uniting the America we love. Um, powerful media companies are now realizing the game is up and they have lost the trust of the American people. I mean, look at what's happening to MSNBC. Uh, Joy Reid lost half her viewers you know what I'm saying? People are like, why will I continue to listen and read these these propaganda pieces, these people that lie to me? It's okay. Like I said, it's okay to have your own opinion. 
It's okay to give your point of view, but it's not okay to lie to people. And that's what they've been doing lately. And the people, American people has woken up from that lie and they no longer wants to um, uh, patronage these places that um, lie to them. And again, like I said, MSNBC, Joy Reid lost 50%, over 50% of her uh, viewership because of the lies that she's been, she been um, um, spewing over the last few months for this election. But the media landscape is realigning before our eyes. I definitely agree with that. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Um, leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe. And check out jjthepsychotherapist.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.